I made a video on gonorrhea and somebody asked Nurse Miss Mary, what is the effect of gonorrhea on a baby? That is why I am here and back again to explain that. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurse's Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be talking about the effect of gonorrhea on pregnancy and also on the baby and what the mother should do to help the baby out of this particular condition. But before I go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not very Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be talking about the effect of gonorrhea on pregnancy and also on a baby. For those that have not watched our video on gonorrhea where I explained the cause of gonorrhea, the mode of transmission, um, the signs and symptoms, facts about gonorrhea, I'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below so you have access to it. But specifically, this video is for the effect of gonorrhea on pregnancy and also on on the baby so first of all let's talk about the effect on pregnancy a woman that is affected with gonorrhea is likely going to have miscarriage yes gonorrhea infection can lead to miscarriage it can lead to the infection of the amniotic sac that the amniotic sac that covers the baby the fluid that covers the baby it might lead to infection of that sac it might lead to premature rupture of the membrane it's not yet time for the membrane to rupture but because of this gonorrhea infection the membrane might rupture early and it might lead to preterm delivery that's pre delivery of a premature baby you can see the effect of gonorrhea on pregnancy is not nice so that is why if you are a woman you are a mother you are planning to give birth to a baby and you know you have history of gonorrhea or you have gonorrhea it's advisable you treat that gonorrhea as soon as possible to avoid harming the baby to avoid miscarriage premature rupture of the membrane to affect uh, to avoid all that and in terms of the baby when the baby is born people with gonorrhea that give birth to a baby they might have eye. Their eyes might be closed. It might affect their eyes. It might affect their eyes. And if not treated on time, might lead to blindness. So when the baby is born out and you see, so like something like a uh, gel, like I'll, I'll look for a picture that best describe it and drop it alongside with the video. So that thing that's around the baby's face might be a sign of gonorrhea and it needs a uh, treatment with an eye drop or ointment before the baby is being discharged home or the baby will be discharged with the eye drop back home. So in general, what I advise is that as a mother, if you have had history, past history of gonorrhea, Please and please do a proper test before getting pregnant or during the pregnancy or when you notice you are pregnant. Make sure you do a pregnancy test to confirm all this so you don't pass it from yourself to the baby. And also when treating gonorrhea, try as much as possible to carry your partner alongside. It's a two person thing. It's not just a one person thing. So while treating yourself, treat your partner. Because if you finish treating yourself in pregnancy and your partner has it, the next sexual intercourse, your partner is likely going to give it back to you. So please and please treat yourself, treat your partner so that your baby will be okay and your baby is going to come out safe and sound. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this enlightening video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmeth really saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.